with our awesome sunny adventure along the French coastline from Cherbourg de Calais having come to an end. It's time to head home. But that doesn't mean it's the end of the adventure. Oh no, because today we continue with our coastal adventure, but this time along the south coast of England, from Dover to Bournemouth. Welcome back Josh to good old England where the wind is howling and it's obviously a headwind. We've got 230 odd miles to go to get back home which is Bournemouth. I have no idea how long it's going to take because this wind hopefully it will settle down tomorrow. At least the sun is shining a bit and uh, there's a bit of blue sky ahead. Uh, good old England. Good to be back. Good to be back. of our journey is pretty flat minus the little hill we got out of Dover it's pretty flat follows the coastline quite nicely normally I'd be super happy about that but today I'm traveling at like eight mile an hour and it's killing me <laughs> but hey it's all fun and games right all I know is this is going to take a while. Camping. Camping tonight is going to be fun. We've got to find somewhere a bit sheltered. This might be a long night. We might be riding. We might be riding into the darkness tonight. Oh my god. <laughs> Just doing my civic duty of uh, holding this bus shelter up to make sure it doesn't blow away. Currently at Dim Church. Oh my god, it's just absolutely brutal battling into that wind. Gonna be coming around Dugness, which is very exposed. Gonna be super windy. I'm not sure where I'm gonna camp because everywhere it's exposed and it's gonna be windy. However, I kind of feel like there might be a bird watch tower around Dugness somewhere. I feel like I remember there being one, so if there is, I might just hide out in there tonight. Hopefully, I don't know. But as we're back in England, our good old chicken tikka, I have missed them. Oh, I am just napping now. It just feels like I'm getting absolutely nowhere, just battling into the wind and we are back along the coast so we're going to continue into that wind i really hope there is a bird watch tower i really feel like there was but i can't remember and i can't find it on the map so i might be thinking of somewhere else who knows Gins this time pushing on to camp Woo!
<laughs> well, my memory served me well because there is obviously a bird watch thing here. So hopefully, um, as long as nobody comes, which I don't think they will, it's about quarter past seven, half seven right now. I'm just gonna sit in here and uh, chill here for the night, out of the wind, and uh, just enjoy this view, I guess. <laughs> How nice is that? Ah. Oh. That is absolutely brutal, that wind. And uh, tomorrow, more of the same. Hopefully it won't be as bad. Hey, maybe even it will turn around and uh, blow me to Bournemouth. That'd be really nice, but I doubt it's gonna happen. Uh, I don't know how many miles I did. I didn't even check before turning my Garmin off, but we're just past uh, Dugness. And uh, hopefully this will be my camp spot for tonight. As long as nobody comes, all good. This will be the uh, second night in a row in one of these because uh, yesterday night I was in France and I was in one of these there. And uh, should be in here tonight too. All right, I'm just gonna chill out. I'm feeling very sleepy. That was uh, a brutal slog in the wind. It just felt like I was getting absolutely nowhere. So as always, I see bright and early. In the morning. Ah, uh, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Last night was actually just really nice. You could just hear the, the water splashing. And uh, it was obviously very windy, so I was super thankful to have this shelter last night. And um, I actually slept pretty good. I mean, I managed to just lay on this like plank of uh, wood. And uh, I did actually sleep pretty good. It looks like it's still windy out there. However, it doesn't feel as windy. It's still gonna be a lot of hard work, obviously, as we follow the coast round now to uh, a place called, I think it's Rye, Wing, Chelsea, and then across to Hastings, and then just keep following that sea until we get to Eastbourne, which after then is where we hit some hills. But, Look, look how nice it looks out here this morning. Look at that. Beautiful. Right, let's go and see how windy it is out there. The second, well, the first full day of uh, bikepacking home from Dover. All right, let's go. Sun is shining, the sky is blue. It's definitely still windy, but not quite as bad as yesterday. Um, not quite as bad as yesterday, but definitely not doing me any favors. 
and uh, we are now in Hastings. We've done about 25 miles, so good start. Been just absolutely beautiful coming by uh, Rye Harbour, absolutely stunning, nice and flat. And just obviously very windy. Gonna have uh, some Scotch eggs and then we're gonna make our way towards Eastbourne. As long as I get past Eastbourne today, I'm pretty happy and uh, we'll get up onto sort of around the South Downs area, which should be fun, where all the hills start. Right, I am going to eat these scotch eggs and uh, into the wind we go. Eastbourne is our next stop. This sun is so good. This sun is so good. <laughs> There's all the flatland grind out of the way. We are now in Eastbourne and we are going to be heading sort of up to the South Downs way sort of way. Up to the hills now. And guess what? Not only have we got a headwind, not only are we gonna have hills, but apparently within the next couple of hours, we are also gonna have can you guess? Can you guess it? Rain. <laughs> of course. What more could I want? <sighs> so, I don't know how many more miles I'm going to do today. I've done about 40 so far. We'll see. I might um, just find some way to camp before it starts hammering it down. But we'll see. Up the hills we go. But I wouldn't mind getting over these couple of hills, down to Brighton, and then back up the next lot of hills. Maybe camp up there. But it's only midday, so plenty of daylight left. Right, should we go up some hills? I think so. Well, the trails have definitely seen better days. It's a bit boggy out here at the moment. It's currently about half two and I've done about 50 miles. Around where I am, there's so many places I could easily just set up camp. Out of the way, out of the wind. There's no rain yet, but the further I look over there, looks like it's already in the rain. So I'm kind of unsure if to continue. I'd like to get a few more miles out, but there's so many good camp spots around here. I don't know what to do. And the trails are just uh, a bit slow going at the moment. I feel like I should continue, but then on the other hand, there's lots of great places to camp. We've done 52 miles, which I'm surprised I've even done 52 miles so far today. It's felt, it's felt like a big slog into a headwind all day, but hey, good going.
Right, I have set up camp. I'm at um, this place, some sort of like in like a wooded nature reserve -y kind of place. I've actually only done 50 miles today and it's only about 3 p.m. I've decided because the weather is um, it's coming my way that while I have this good little opportunity, I'm gonna take it. I'm gonna get an early night, like a really early night before it starts raining. I can be in my tent. I can be all dry for the morning. It's looking like it's gonna be raining. Uh, most of the night and then possibly tomorrow morning but definitely at some point in the morning as well so good little setup tonight in the woods there's a really strong wind but because of where i am i'm kind of it's kind of missing me it's kind of just going over me which is great and uh yeah 3 p.m a very very early setting up camp tonight but to be fair um I've had lots of late nights and uh, early mornings recently, so I'm gonna enjoy just chilling out in my tent for quite a while. Eat some ginsters, eat some sweets, and then just zonk out and zone out and just listen to the, uh, well, the wind, I guess. It's just starting to rain, so I am gonna get into my tent and hide away before I get soaking wet. As always, I'll see you bright and early in the morning. Currently about 11 p.m. I've slept for a few hours, but the uh, rain and wind are out in force tonight. I definitely made the right call to uh, set up camp early, find a good spot, because where I am is literally perfect. The wind, you might be able to hear it outside, it's just absolutely howling past me but luckily it's not hitting my tent it's just going like over uh, obviously it's raining it's obviously very loud so i managed to sleep for a few hours so far but it might be a long night uh, until about six seven in the morning till it gets light it is meant to stop raining in about an hour so that should quieten things down a bit luckily the bike should be clean when i wake up or at least half of it will be so that's good and uh, at least uh, I'm nice and dry and warm. But a cracking camp spot really, because with how loud and how fast that wind is, it's just completely missing me. There's literally not even a ripple in my tent. You can like see it, you can hear that wind and it's just not hitting me at all. Absolutely perfect. Oh, good morning, good morning. It's looking very nice out here, all things considering. Last night was uh, loud to start with. After about midnight, it did all just calm down, the rain stopped, even heard some birds, some owls out here hooting away. And uh, today we've actually got some blue skies. Doesn't seem to be too windy, at least where I am. How nice. Hopefully it will stay like this. Hopefully it's all dry. Trails will probably be slidey today though. I just like, I could just sleep all day. I feel really, really just like I could just have a real lazy day and just sleep here. <laughs> but we've got, but I've got like 150 or so miles, I think until Bournemouth. So we've got to crack through some miles today and uh, hopefully we'll make it back tomorrow, but we'll see. See how today goes, I guess. See how wet them trails are. We've got a lot of hills to go. We are in the hilly sections now. We've got about 10 miles until Brighton, so we'll grab some breakfast or something there. Right, let's pack up. Day two and a half on the way back from Dover. Let's go. Well, it is still quite windy actually when you get into the exposed areas. There's a white horse, chalk white horse on that hill over there. 
you probably can't see it but it's there and uh all right we're starting off today with how every good morning should start with a descent and uh it's actually pretty cold that wind is pretty cold but considering how much it rained last night my tent was bone dry absolutely perfect i love when that happens all right let's descend and then let's do some climbing Brighton, here we come. absolutely killing me today it's worse today than it was yesterday it's back to like the first day we've done 20 miles it's just a grind this whole way back to Bournemouth is just going to be the hardest grind ever I just feel it we're digging deep we got some uh, serene and uh, honey and uh, I stocked up on some food for the rest of the trip but it looks like it's just going to be brutal it's very uh, rain for like 10 minutes, hammers it down, and then uh, back to uh, sunshine right now. Um, but yeah, hopefully we'll find some tree cover, get out of the wind a bit, make some good progress today. It's gonna be super, super slow going. That was ridiculously windy and uh, it was really hard to stay on the bike as you can see had a little tumble <laughs> and uh we fell in the dirt all good just little graze but it's bloody windy it's just really hard to like stay on any like line like you're on these little uh ridges and you're just trying to like stay in one but you're just getting blown all over the place i think i'm going to try and find a flatter way we might just try and uh follow the sea a bit closer. I was hoping to stay a bit more off-road on the way home, but we might have to stick with some more roads, or at least uh, it's rideable. I'm gonna check the map out, then we can follow this down to the sea again, and then uh, at least follow that for a bit. Oh my God, what a start for today. Oh, there's wind. If it just go in the other direction, we'd be laughing. So we're gonna head along the Downs Link, down to Shoreham, and now I'm just going to follow the coast until at least Little Hampton, and then uh, we'll see if we, then we'll see where we go from there. We can uh, get back onto my route, but it depends how windy it is, because <laughs> it is bloody windy. Uh, all right, next stop, <laughs> the sea again. Uh. chunks at a time is all I can do and I'm like riding at like four or five mile an hour barely getting anywhere and now it's raining again just little chunks little chunks we'll soon get there we'll eventually get there
what a day that was. That is probably up there with one of the worst days ever. Crazy headwinds, rain, hail, wind, sun. They are the worst days because you can never judge what you need to be doing. One minute you're hot, next minute you're cold, next minute you're wet, next minute you're dry. It's just generally annoying. I'm currently just basically north of Chichester on the uh, South Downs Way at the moment, just camped up in a bit of a woods. I've got the wind coming that way, but it's sort of over me again. Not quite as good as yesterday, but um, tomorrow's weather says it's going to be sunny. Who knows, I've done about 60, 65 miles I think it was today. So all in all quite good, but we've still got about, I want to say, 80 miles to go. Probably, yeah, probably, probably around 70 to 80 miles more to go until we get to Bournemouth. So still a long old way and a long old slog to, to get there. That was just a tough day. But tomorrow we're just going to dig deep. We're just going to keep pushing on until we get to that Bournemouth Pier. And then we will have done a big loop around France and the south of England. All right, as always, I see bright and early in the morning. Hopefully the wind will either be pushing me or I'm gone. See you in the morning. Wow. Good morning. I can see the sun rising over there. The sky is blue. And the wind, although I can still just about hear it, it does seem to have settled down from yesterday. It looks so beautiful out there. And we got a good, I don't know, 70 miles, 80 miles left to go. However, the good news is we are over the worst of the hills after descending and cruising down some uh, forest tracks towards Haven. Um, we should be pretty much straight through and uh, through to the new forest and then uh, once we get down to Haven, we've got a bit of um, bit of built up areas to get all through, which shouldn't be too bad, hopefully. And then across to the new forest and then home free. I'm really hoping uh, the weather is as good as it looks, because this happened, this was like yesterday morning, but we'll see, I guess. Let's get packed up. This is our final day on the trip home from Dover. This was meant to be an easy trip home. It's turned into a, a hard one. Well, that's the hard part done for today. We are now coming through Portsmouth, having some uh, breakfast. We thought we'd get some um, fruit in the gullet. We've got some bananas. We got some uh, plums. Now we've just got a long road slog to Southampton, then that sweet, sweet new forest gravel, and uh, straight through to Bournemouth. Today's weather is beautiful. The wind is still there, but definitely not as bad as it was. So we should be able to crack these miles out. Happy days. Let's continue on to the new forest gravel. Oh, what a day, what a day. Today is such a different day than yesterday, I tell ya. 
because the sun is shining, the weather is consistent, the wind isn't really even a factor right now, and we've done about 45 miles, just come into the new forest, which means we've got prime gravel pretty much all the way, not quite all the way to Bournemouth, but a good chunk of uh, the next 30 or so miles is nice gravel flat oh, what a day although this ride has been absolutely brutal the entire time at least we're gonna have a nice easy finish with uh, some nice blue skies and uh, very little wind happy days let's get to Bournemouth Let's get home. Whew, let's go. Prime gravel now.